How you doing? I uh, hope you guys are in for a treat. We're going to talk about computers because they're fun. Um, this is a list of things I put together to help you be less dumb at computers. Um, I hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. First thing, if you have a computer, get protection. Antivirus, spyware, basically any general malware. You need to get protected. Whether you run a Mac or a PC, it doesn't matter. We have virus. Viruses are no joke, okay? All that crap you see on TV and movies, computer warfare, that's real. Has anyone here heard of Stuxnet? Okay, if you haven't, Google that. You'll probably wet your pants. Oh, and I don't want this to happen to you because I want to see you at the next at night Denver. So the next thing, if you have computer problems, don't come to me and just say it's broken or it doesn't work or eh. It's done to work, okay? If you can't give me enough information to reproduce it, I can't fix it. And by computer law, you're dumb until you can provide me enough information, information to prove you right. So this is what happens when you tell me it's just broken, okay? Because that means, great, one more needle I have to look for in this big ass haystack. Uh, next thing, ask Google. Um, I don't feel like I should ex need to explain this because Google knows everything. Ask it your computer questions. Don't know how to spell a word, just put it into Google. If you spelled it wrong, it'll be like, oh, did you mean this? And not be a dick about it. <laughs> the other thing about Google, it's everywhere. It's in your phone, it's in your browser. You know what? When Bing doesn't know the answer, where does it go? Google. <laughs> okay, next thing. I'm not joking, Google that. Does this need to be explained? Now, I'll admit, I've used Comic Sans. I'm not ragging on the font itself, but this was made for Microsoft Bob back in 1995, okay? Um, just stop using it, okay? It's real simple, just stop using it. If I ever see your name in Comic Sans, you're immediately an idiot. Just stop using it. If you can't make up your mind, use Helvetica. Next thing, software. This one's real easy, keep it up to date. Your web browser, if you're into the internet, definitely keep your web browser up to date because if you don't, you're holding us up. You're holding everybody up. Just upgrade, it's free. Same thing with your operating system. Uh, clients, if you make money on software that's out of date, upgrade it. I, uh, wow. People think they're saving money, but they're really not saving money because eventually you're gonna have to deal with it and it's taking longer, uh, whatever, forget about it. This one goes for everybody. When you share on the internet, regardless of if it's a wall post, a DM, a tweet, an email, a text, however you talk, think about it before you put it out there. If you don't want the entire internet to know about it, don't put it out there. And I guess someone needs to say it. Keep your dick off the internet. If you don't have a dick, keep that other thing off the internet. Seriously. Okay, this one's kind of for everybody, uh, but really I meant this for the programmers. Technology, it's all just fads and trends. They just come and go. What's hot today, chances are will not be hot tomorrow. And I know this because I've been doing this long enough that the stuff that I like doesn't really pay anymore, you know? Sometimes Steve Jobs just decides your stuff's not cool anymore too. So just, there's no reason to identify yourself with one particular technology. There's no reason to fight about it because it doesn't matter. Computers certainly don't care. Clients certainly don't care. You know, what I suggest, learn more than one thing. Learn everything you can. Learn something that pays the bills and then learn something that keeps you happy. Because one thing, you're not gonna make it at one thing. You might, you probably won't. Um, if you write any flavor of code, put comments in there. I don't know why, why don't you use comments, programmers? I mean, seriously. Like, I kind of get it in a way, but the deal is everything that you do, you probably have someone telling you to do it. So just paste that in there. Lastly, I mean this is kind of a general thing, separation of concern. Keep your stuff organized. I'm not here to tell you what languages to use and what frameworks to use, but keep it organized. Don't jam it all together. So we'll wrap up real quick. Get some protection. Don't just tell me it's broken. I'm not going to help you. Better yet, ask Google. Uh, stop using Comic Sans. Update your software. Definitely keep your dick off the internet. I, I mean, I can't stress that enough. Technology comes and goes. Learn everything you can. If you write code, use comments, because I'm tired of inheriting code that have no notes to me. 
lastly, keep it separated. And I, I'm Eric Fickus. I hope you guys had a good time. I have a little more time, so I want to send a shout out to my brother. Peace out.